One of the great things about Central Texas is the outstanding views of the Texas Hill Country. Well, today we are going to check out and take a look at the pros and cons of the beautiful front porch of the Texas Hill Country, Spring Branch in Bulverde, Texas. Stay tuned. Howdy guys, this is Michael McCall, real estate agent here in San Antonio, Texas and the gorgeous Hill Country. I am here today to talk to you guys all about the top five pros and cons of the amazing city of Spring Branch and then also Bulverde, Texas. It's pretty much right there at the same place. Before we do that, please don't forget if you guys get anything whatsoever out of this video, please like, comment, subscribe to this channel. Uh, let me know what you think about the video in the comments for sure. And then, of course, guys, if you have any questions whatsoever about this area or about anything related to San Antonio, the Hill Country, Bernie, New Braunfels, any of these areas around here, feel free to message me at any point in time. Text me, call me, email me anytime. I'll get back with you guys as soon as I can. Now, let's get on to the pros and cons of Spring Branch in Bulverde, Texas. So your first pro is that, obviously, this is called the front porch of the Texas Hill Country. So you have the gorgeous scenery of the beautiful Texas Hill Country. Some of those things that you get with this is you got Guadalupe River that runs through here. You're a really quick drive up to Canyon Lake. Uh, you can go kayaking, can canoeing on the Guadalupe River, either going through at Guadalupe River State Park or going up to a couple of the public access points on the river itself. Uh, you can camp at the Guadalupe River State Park or up in Canyon Lake. Uh, there's tons of fishing opportunities around here, including you can go fly fishing for trout just down river of Canyon Lake, which is outstanding. I've, I've fished for those trout before and I've caught some pretty good ones down there. There are also several neighborhoods with access to the river, including River Crossing and Mystic Shores actually has the, uh, is on Canyon Lake. So it's a public access point to Canyon Lake. Uh, lots, lots to get into with what's so great about the hill country views around here, but those are kind of your main points. Con number one is pretty commonly known that there's some critters moving around Texas. Up here in the hill country, we don't have a huge, huge problem with it as much as you would say down in the uh, you know, mesquite filled areas of South Texas with the snakes, but we do have a good amount of bugs and scorpions up here, especially a lot of these new developments. If you moved into a new home, you will more than likely have some invasions of some of those creepy crawlies periodically. It's no big deal to worry about. I always tell everybody just get pest control the first time around, keep it up regularly and just keep an eye on them. If they start coming in, just make sure you get your treatment and it should knock them out right away. I moved into my new house here recently up here in the hill country and it's a brand new house. Um, first couple weeks we had a couple scorpions come into the house but we haven't had anything else since. Pro number two. So there is a wide variety of real estate that's sold around here. You have a lot of new construction. There's a lot of new neighborhoods popping up up here and you also have quite a bit of homes that are actually on some acreage. Uh, Overall, you have an, a median sales price of right at about 328000 So a little bit higher than, say, the San Antonio metro area, but it's not so high. It's not quite as high as what you would get like over in Bernie. So you have a lot of new construction, like I mentioned there. In the last six months, there's actually 309 new, home, new, new construction home sales in this area. And like I mentioned too, you actually have a lot of places that have a lot more land. So there have been 251 home sales of homes that were on a half acre or more. Con number two. So this area, especially between New Braunfels and Bernie, which Bulverde and Spring Branch is kind of right smack dab in the middle of that, right at the intersection of 46 and 281, they're getting ready to do a whole bunch of construction. They're gonna expand 46 basically from Bulverde Road all the way to Smithson Valley Road. They're gonna widen the roads just to keep up with the flow of traffic. I saw a stat that over the next 30 years, traffic in this area is supposed to increase by 133% compared to what it is now. Nothing to be crazy uh, concerned about in my opinion. It just kind of comes with the territory with the growth of this entire area. They're getting ready to start on this. So this is gonna be going on for quite some time. They've been talking about it for quite a few years now. They're just now getting into the starting phases of clearing some of the land to get ready to start on this construction on 46. Now, south of here going towards San Antonio, you have 281. So 281 is the main area. I mean, it's really, there's a couple areas you can go, kind of go around 281 to get into San Antonio, but 281 is the main corridor, main highway that takes you into San Antonio for your commute. They have been working on that for a few years now, uh, especially down at the 1604 area in Stone Oak. Going up from 1604 to TPC and Stone Oak Parkway, that is phase one. 
that is actually almost done to where they're going to have a full fledged interstate highway that is going to bypass all of those what used to be stoplights. So it's going to make your traffic and your commute a whole lot easier. And it actually already is even during the construction from driving through there. I feel like it's way better now than it was before. Um, phase two is going to be from that TPC park, TPC and Stone Oak Parkway going up north to basically right at the Comal County line at Borgfeld. That's about three to four miles or so south of here. Once that is complete, and it's estimated that for that all to be complete by the end of 2022, you're going to have a crazy easy commute into San Antonio. There's going to be hub lanes. It's going to be three lanes on each side, inbound and outbound. So it's going to be a really big benefit for those of us out here that commute down into San Antonio on a regular basis for work. Pro number three. So pro number three is the highly rated schools up here in Bolverde and Spring Branch area. It's Comal ISD. Comal ISD, first of all, is ranked 92 out of 100. Uh, on their overall rating at texasschools.gov. The uh, two high schools that serve this area are Smithson Valley High School and Canyon Lake High School. Smithson Valley High School is right at that, I think it's a 91 out of 100, and then Canyon Lake High School is actually an 88 out of 100. So both really, really good schools. In fact, no school in Comal ISD and in this area actually ranks much lower than the upper 80s. Con number three is that the property values back up here are increasing dramatically right now. It's like everywhere in San Antonio, especially this year. 2020 saw some of the largest growth in property values in that we have seen ever, really. Um, in this area specifically, just between this time period this year and last year, the rough you know growth in, in prices has been about 11%. It's pretty high. So the downside with that is that, of course, it decreases your affordability if you're coming with you know a certain budget that you got. It's going to drastically decrease the type of house that you can get for that budget. Uh, but it also unfortunately affects the property taxes. Now, property taxes aren't directly related to the sales price, but when the market is increasing, the tax values do go up. So when you, just on a side note, when you're looking at property taxes, your tax value is in the assessed value, not the sales price, not the appraised value, but the tax assessed value is what the property taxes are based off of. So even with an increasing market, even though it doesn't consider the sales price, it will still increase, especially in an increasing market like we're having right now. Pro number four, this area actually has really low tax rates compared to, especially compared to the big city of San Antonio. You're looking at about a 1.8% tax rate for pretty much every place that you're looking at in here, except the new construction neighborhoods. So this is con number four. So the property tax rates in some of these new construction neighborhoods can be up to 2.67%. So the reason for this is that each of these neighborhoods to get the utilities um, and have the, the infrastructure to be able to build these neighborhoods out here in such a, a, a more remote area, we're not way out in the rural, you know, backwoods of the Texas Hill Country, but um, we are a little bit farther out away from everything. So to make these neighborhoods, to build these neighborhoods, they've built their own basically um, wastewater treatment plants, uh, water facilities, uh, you know, they've had to put in all the new electrical out here. So they have added an additional tax for that. So the majority of these neighborhoods, including Johnson Ranch, Singing Hills, Hidden Trails, Ventana, um, all of those have a extra 0.85%, pretty big negative when it come, when you come to look at it. Uh, the main reason is whenever you compare that 1.8 to the 2.67, you're actually decreasing your buying power by about $40,000. Now, Copper Canyon is a new neighborhood up here, the D.R. Horton neighborhood, that does not have that. So they're still at that 1.8% tax rate. If you are looking for a new construction neighborhood, that might be a good one to consider if the tax rates are a huge deal for you. And our last pro, pro number five, is it's in a pretty dang good location. Now, granted, there's not a whole bunch of stuff around here, which is actually con number five, but this is a really good spot because it's a very easy drive down to San Antonio. Um, you take 281 and it takes you about 30 minutes to get down into town, so it's really not bad. Whenever I map it, it's roughly 30, 35 minutes to get from Bolverde to the airport. So it's a pretty, pretty nice, easy drive. Uh, it's also really close to New Braunfels. It's just a 30 minute drive one way to New Braunfels, about a 15, 20 minute drive the other direction to Bernie. And we're not too far if you drive up north to get to Fredericksburg. If you're looking at wanting to be close to New Braunfels, but also being really close to San Antonio, this is a great spot that a lot of people really enjoy and really like to live in because of the proximity to both of those two major areas. And so like I said, con number five is that there's actually not a whole lot going on here in, in Bulverde Spring Branch. So we have those big major retailers that kind of have everything that you need as far as groceries and 
home supplies, but at the same time, it would be nice to get, you know, some bigger shopping centers up here, at least a little bit closer so you don't have to drive all the way down into San Antonio to get to those. Well, guys, that was it for our top five pros and cons of Spring Branch in Bolverde, Texas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you had any questions whatsoever about anything here, just please, guys, reach out. My information is right here. Uh, you can text me, call me, email me. I'll get back with you guys as soon as I can. And uh, as always, guys, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know if there's any other videos you'd like to see in the future. Um, and then also let me know, you know, what your favorite thing about Wolverine and Spring Branch is. If you have something, if you've been here before, if you know the area, um, let me know in the comments as well. So, guys, I appreciate you guys watching this video, sticking around to the end. Um, until the next video, we will see you guys later.